3,000 watts RMS for under $400? That's what AudioPipe is claiming with their APCLE 3001D Monoblock Beast, which is basically a skateboard with a MOSFET power supply that can kill you. This thing is huge, 27.9 inches by 7 inches by 2.2 inches specifically. So you better have space for it somewhere. Personally, I think this amp is ideal for those of you with trucks or SUVs. It fits perfectly under the back seats with room to spare. Sedans ain't so lucky. This Class D is intended for hard hitting sound and designed with SPL in mind. It offers the ability to run at 16 volts for maximum output. For power, AudioPipe rates this amp for 3000 watts RMS at 2 ohms and 1800 watts RMS at 4 ohms. It is not one ohm stable. Don't ask, all right? The amplifier offers tons of options and flexibility for multi subwoofer systems. Unfortunately, we don't have the power supply and batteries or load resistors to test a 3000 watt amplifier, but we sent it to the OG who does. Some of you may know him, Big D Wiz. Big D used his amp dyno on this audio pipe for us. So let's kick it to him and see if it really hits specs. What's up guys, Big D Wiz, QualityMobileVideo.com. Oh, hold on, wait, that's not right. OldSchoolStereo.com, but I am here doing a segment for my buddies Boston Jam and Lorenzo at Quality Mobile Video. They asked me to test this big old fat amp that their little puny power supplies couldn't handle, so we strapped up the eight 14 volt batteries and we tested it out for them. So check it out in the video, check me out on YouTube at Big D Wiz. And as always, thanks for watching, because you know where I am. I'm out of here. All right, four ohms uncertified on the audio pipe 3K. 40 hertz track. All right, 2072 at 14.27. That's a good ending voltage there, close to 14.4. Now let's do the certified run. Maybe this will be closer to 14.4. Reset the clamp. Reset the hold. And let's keep going. All right, so at 14.4, I think we get right at 2,000 watts, but we're a little less, 14.3. We got 1897. All right, so let's go back and let's do the dynamic run. Four ohms, make sure we reset the track. This is track one on the 81 disc. And we'll set to the inrush mode on the clamp. Make sure the light's on. Let's try it out. Dynamic power, four ohms, 40 hertz with audio pipe 3K. Stamp's got some nice dynamic power. As I remember from the original 1500 that I tested. So 2462. For those of you not familiar with AD1 Amp Dyno, a certified test goes to distortion and clipping. Uncertified goes to clipping without a distortion reading and will generally show more output. And dynamic is a burst of max power demonstrating headroom for representation of outputs while playing music. 40 hertz certified at 2 ohms. All right, 3049 at 14.6. We're still just a little hair high. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna run it again. Reset the clamp. And set it to the right mode. And we'll go back to the beginning of the track. Reset the dyno voltage is gonna be a little lower this time. It'll probably be under maybe 14.2 at the end, but let's see. I was close, 14.28, and we got 28.59. So it's definitely right at 3K at 14.4. Um, so they rated this one just about right. So let's go uncertified, two ohms. Make sure we're at the beginning of track four, which is 40 hertz, and firing the hole. Let's reset this. You can see my starting voltage, which is around 15.5 or so. 15.6, here we go, uncertified. Two ohms. 
40 hertz. All right, that's good power, 3352, 14.16. Good job, audio pop. Audio pop. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch it to the inrush mode. We're gonna go to track one. And we're gonna set this to the dynamic test. Mono, two ohms. Start it up, we're starting at 15.3. The dynamic test doesn't consume as much uh, battery voltage or it won't eat up my current quite as quickly. So I can go ahead and run this one. 40 hertz, dynamic, two ohms. Fire in the freaking hole, here we go. Whoa. Count your wattage up forth. Look at that, almost 4,700 watts, 4,694. Right at 14.4, smoking it, audio pipe. This amp didn't disappoint. The results are very satisfying. A big shout out to Big D Wiz for testing this amp for us. Big D has tons of great content. He tests out all sorts of audio gear. So be sure to head over to his YouTube channel, Big D Wiz and oldschoolstereo.com. Opening this amp up reveals a lot. You can see two identical amp boards strapped together. Tons of power supply, oversized toroids for constant power. Very impressive for under $400. One of the best features of audio pipe amps are their cooling fins, which run along the side of the top plate to ensure outstanding heat dissipation. The amplifier looks like it just got cupping therapy after yoga class, but it's effective as hell. Considering the power consumption capabilities of this amp, we highly recommend a minimum of one odd gauge wire for power and ground connections. The amplifier comes with a remote base level control designed to be installed up front and plugs into the amplifier's remote jack. It also includes a fuse and fuse holder to mount at the battery. Adjustments include level control for full power output, low pass filter, subsonic filter, and bass boost. To prevent damage to your gear, the audio pipe features power and protect LED indicators, plus has four protection modes, thermal, short circuit, overload, and under voltage. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button, but if you hate it, click the dislike button. Join the conversation below and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Get all of your car audio and video gear with us today at qualitymobilevideo.com. Thanks for watching.